Hey guys, Howard here with a more instructional <laughs> based type lesson. I've done a couple of songs recently, so I thought I'd get back to a bit of this. What I want to talk about today is using major and minor double stops. Now I've talked about double stops before in some of my earlier lessons and definitely in my blues rock course and in my blues lessons, but those apply to major chords. <laughs> That type of thing and uh, you can find a lot of info on that in my blues rock course I'll put a link to it in the uh, description box below just in case you want to check it out but this is different it's like if you were playing a minor blues instead of major or just a standard tune you hear these in a lot of classic tunes like wild horses brown-eyed girl etc right so that's what these are and the concept is relatively easy to wrap your head around okay so I'm gonna be in the key of A minor as I said basically messing with three chords an A minor seventh a D minor seventh and an E minor seventh right so what this is is you have a combination of major and minor thirds double stops two notes played at a time and the scale dictates whether you're going to be playing this shape or this shape. So if you think of an A minor scale traveling in a linear way across the fretboard, it's good to know all those notes. For instance, for A minor on the first string, we'd have F, G, A, B, C, D, E, then F again, and it all repeats, right? On the next string, you would have D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then D again, and it starts to repeat. So if you combine those two strings together to create a double stop, you have a combination of minor shapes and major shapes. Now, that's really cool. You can add those to your chords for color, but let's not stop there. So if you go to the next two strings, say starting from the B string, we already know what's happening with the B string. We've got C, D, E, F, G, and so on. And then on the G string, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A again. So we would have And then moving to the next set of strings, starting with the G, we already know what that is. We would have F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and then it would start over again. So that combination would be... And you can even move to the next two strings and do the same thing. I kind of keep it on the first four strings in terms of it just being accompaniment to the chords you're playing or ad-libbing or just adding it to your lead licks. But you can definitely take it all the way across all six strings by just following the scale. Now, if you can get yourself familiar with those shapes across, say, those first four strings, you can also combine them together. See what I mean? You can really do some cool stuff. Now, if you can get familiar with them, like I say, then you can toss them into your playing. You can use them in an ad lib type way.
So you get the idea, it's really cool, but you do have to get really familiar with the shapes across those strings so that you can just really float it. But there you go, just a little something to uh, <laughs> instructional to share with you today. Uh, major and minor third double stops. Anyway, I hope you get something out of the uh, lesson and uh, all the best to everyone as always. And we shall see you again soon.